So since we live out in the country, people ask me, how in the world do you keep your driveway clean? Right now it's uh, minus 15 actual temperature. And I don't know, something like minus 35 wind chill with wind gusts up to like 40 or 50 miles an hour, they say. So I'm gonna clean our driveway off and show you how it's done. This dog is furry as all get out. We don't even mind the temperature. Good old 1984 CJ7. The snow plow is a Western snow plow that I painted as a Hawkeye snow plow. And it does pretty good. That's a plow is almost as old as I am. I think it's from like 1982 or 84. Here we go, we'll see if the Jeep starts. Well, the Jeep is going. I gotta let it warm up. It's a carburetor. It's kind of cold-blooded, so, or warm-blooded, one of the two. I don't know what, but uh, we'll get it warmed up and then we'll go. I do have a top that I used to put on the Jeep, but now I just put the doors on. Uh, it works just fine. It's a little cold, but heaters never did work in the Jeep. And as you can see, uh, my exhaust pipe on this thing doesn't even go off the back. It's like broken in the middle, so fumes leak up. And uh, in the years past when I plowed, I kind of get a little woozy and sick because of all the exhaust here. So I just keep the top off, even though it's cold. Uh, loosen up the door. It was frozen down, it wouldn't even open up. Now it's going. Like I said, Juzu doesn't, doesn't even mind the snow. It's cold. Thanks. Old Jeep like this actually has locking hubs. So you put it in four wheel drive, you gotta turn that. Where it says four by four, we're ready to go. I just move out and then I plow my sidewalk here in the front. I'm gonna try this again. I had to go in and get Hyla's phone. It's so cold, so cold out. My phone's shut off. All right, take two, here we go. Oh, the Jeep's like, what are you doing? It's so cold. longer I'm going to record because this is frigid, frigid hand. Here we go. I'm just going to record uh, going down the driveway and pushing off the snow. Here we go. There's some areas where there's not much snow just because it's blown off.
I move the snow with if it gets real bad. This is my John Deere utility tractor and I bought this off one of my friends. So it'd be the best thing I ever bought. I was gonna buy a little little one and he had this in his timber. This is a Schweiss. They actually don't even make them anymore. But it's a two stage, so there's two augers. Uh, it's heavy, it weighs, I don't even know, know what. It almost lifts the front end of my tractor off, but this thing eats through the snow like crazy. I've broken a couple of the roller chains, but just runs off the power takeoff and adjustable chute, but a Schweiss snowblower. It's a, it's a goodie, but an oldie. It's been about three hours trying to get my tractor started. Last night, it was just so cold. I was worried that it wouldn't start. I had to go buy a Mr. Heater and laid a tarp over it and heated it all up. And eventually I got it started. So uh, I was hoping for more snow and not so cold the temperatures, but it is what it is. So there we have it, snow removal on the Owen farm. Little Jeep does great. I stay kind of warm in it. I had my groceries carried out today and I told the kid carrying the groceries out, you know, if you don't think about it, it's actually not that cold. And he goes, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. But um, we made it through. You see a little red barn way in the background. My house is back there too. So it's a long ways back there. So uh, we didn't get much snow, but it is cold. Uh, as a kid growing up, uh, we always had uh, we had like the world's best driveway or worst driveway. If you didn't have four wheel drive, you had no business making it up. And we used to beg my parents and especially my dad, don't plow, plow the road because we want to sled on it. And when it got all packed down and turned to ice, it was even the best for runner sleds. Here, this will be the last thing on the video. Uh, a few years ago, we got a really bad snowstorm and I realized that if we got a really bad snowstorm, I couldn't make it to the hospital if I needed to. So upgraded to these tracks on the side by side. Now I can get there. So this is not a snow removal, but it's a snow escape if in case we couldn't remove the snow. Um, and it's not just my driveway. Sometimes um, even on the gravel road we live on, uh, it's one of the last to get cleared in the county, it seems like. I show, suppose there's a lot. We live in a big county. But um, so this is this will go through anything. It'll go through drifts, um, snow, ice, whatever. So wish I had a windshield and cab, but uh, I'm too cheap to buy those. Just uh, wear this stuff. Have a great day. This is now one of my all-time favorite books and all-time favorite stories. It was cold moving snow today, but these guys that uh, took part in this adventure endured far worse than I could even imagine. So if you're looking for a good read, pick this book up.